In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of digits in a number using Python. So if we have a positive integer, like say for example, number is equal to 5,431, we can count the number of digits in this number by using a simple algorithm. If we take this number and divide it by 10, what we'll get is 543.1. If we divide this number using floor division, what happens is we round down to the nearest integer. So instead of 543.1, we would get 543. And floor division in Python looks like this with the double slashes. If we took this number here and then divided it by 10, using floor division, we would then get 54. If we took this number and divided it by 10 using floor division, we would then get five. And then if we take five and divide five by 10 using floor division, we'll get zero. So the number of times that we had to divide the number by 10 using floor division in this process in order to reach zero is the number of digits in the number. And that's basically the algorithm. So we'll implement this now in Python. What we'll have here is while the number doesn't equal zero, we'll take the number and we'll divide the number by 10 using floor division. We'll assign the result back the number. We'll also have a counter to keep track of the number of times we had to do this before the number did equal zero and the process stopped. So we'll have here count is equal to zero and we'll increment count by one with each loop iteration. Then after the loop is done, we'll output the total number of digits. So I'll have here print and then digit total colon, and we'll output the count. So if we save the program and run it, we'll get here a digit total of four, which is correct. We could put this logic inside a function. So for example, we could have something like def digit counter that accepts a number as an argument. So we'll call the parameter number. And then we could have the exact same logic, but inside the function. And what we'll do is return the count from the function. Instead of count is equal to count plus one, we could just have here count plus equals one. And this will do the same thing add one to count and assign the result to count. In a similar way, we could have here floor division equals and then 10. And this is going to divide the number by 10 using floor division and assign the result back the number. Then down here, we could call our function. We could have digit counter and we could pass it say 123. We could then save our program and try it out. And we'll get a digit total of three, which is correct. Now this algorithm won't work with negative integers. So for example, if we had here negative 123, if we save the program and run it, it's not actually going to stop. And the reason is what happens when we use floor division. So if, for example, we had, let's say, negative one, then if we divide negative one by 10, we would normally get negative 0.1. But if we use floor division, then we're going to round down to the nearest integer, which is negative one. And so the algorithm wouldn't stop. So what we could do is convert the number that's passed to this function to a positive number if it's a negative number. We could use the absolute value function to do this. 
So here we'll have number is equal to ABS and we'll pass it number. This is the absolute value function. It's going to take in the number as an argument and return the absolute value of that number. So if the number is positive, it's just going to return the number. If the number is negative, it's going to basically return the positive version of that number with the negative sign stripped out. We could then save this program and try it out. And now we do get a digit total of three, even though our number is negative. So this is how we can count the number of digits in a number using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.